check both keys start to offset the vehicle. Wow, that video just stopped itself right when you were done, bro. <laughs> That's so weird. All um, right. And then this third key right here, this will not start the car, only the one that has the plastic heads on them will. So all you have to do is um, separate it whenever you're ready. But this key, the purpose of this key is so if you ever get locked out, this can at least get you back in the car. We call this the wallet key. So I recommend sticking this in your wallet at the very least. Most likely people have their wallets with them. Oh, my brother stole my wallet, but uh, I got you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. There's your two keys. So it would just be 185 plus tax. Yeah. And um, with tax included. But what's the third key? Um, the the one that's all Oh, metal. it's two copies? So two copies that starts the card. Okay. Third copy right there. I know what is this is. Just for the door. All right, man. Yep. Uh, you got the uh, swiping machine, he said? I sure do. Let's yes, do sir. it. Whenever Let's you're it. ready. I'm ready. All right. Just pass me the card. Cool. cool. It's funny how in America we're able to trust each other with cards like that, you know? I think about that all the time. It's brotherly love I guess like that people just don't look at the card and steal the information I mean I guess a lot do but you have to think about it from a business perspective a business wouldn't want to jeopardize um, right the trust of a customer sure yeah yeah but you know a business could hire a lower employee that is hard up that's awesome like I used to think about it when I was a waiter and I'd be like man if I was a scumbag this would be easy as hell to rip these people out but you never did, obviously. Yeah. That's the way this world is. Some people have good hearts and some people don't. Well, I was born with a bad heart, but I'm not bad hearted. Right. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Yeah. So here you go. Payment went through. If you want me to see your email receipt? Yeah, please. All right. What is your email address? M A N. Mm -hmm. D E L uh -huh. A uh -huh. M A N uh -huh. 2016 uh -huh. at gmail.com. Let me confirm I have the spelling correctly. I have M A N D E L A M A N 2016 at gmail. Correct. All right. I'm all about that Mandela effect. You know about that? I want to say I heard the term before, but I'm not too keen on it. Real, it's real business, man. Real serious business. You know, you look it up on Google, that first result's going to tell you people are misremembering things. But hey, man, like I I have it all written down. I have all the memories saved. It's like Oscar Meyer, right? My baloney has the first name. It's M-E-Y-E-R. When you look at a commercial from the 60s now, it says M-A-Y-E-R. Mayer. When everybody remembers it, Meyer, like M-E-Y-E-R. Mm -hmm. So somehow that's we shifted or it magically changed. We're in a simulation, something, or we're hallucinating, but I don't think we're hallucinating. It's gotta be simulation or timeline difference. There's history that's changed, uh, continents that have kind of shifted and, and physical things that have moved. Bible, I mean, Bible makes, passages changed. That makes sense. Uh, as time changes, things change as well. Same way with the earth. This earth is sand of constantly in rotation but well, don't as well as things are constantly changing with the teton the earth tectonics as well that's weird man that, that military guy mentioned that to me too today he said how do you think the earth spins or something like that i said oh, well i believe it's flat so maybe the the heavens is spinning and we're standing still out but i don't know it probably is that it's spinning but it's flat okay um yes sir but you all said I just forget what I was going to say there, but something important. Oh, they always called the Bible the living word. I never really yeah. understood that until it started changing. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, it is living. It, like, he got, it's the age of Aquarius now. <laughs> God's changing the message a little bit. He's a little more soft or on uh, like gays and lesbians and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now it's not as harsh. Like, don't stone them to death anymore. But yeah. Yeah, real weird, bro. Yeah. Like he's talking about in in some passage, I forget which one, but it's saying a man lays with another man, and it doesn't say anything bad about it anymore. It's real weird. Yeah. I right, mean, I'm a cross dresser too, so right. I went to the university like that. You can check that out on the page too, man. Pretty okay. interesting. I met the uh, 
producer or somebody that worked on Oppenheimer. They, and when we were coming down in the car, my brother goes, wouldn't it be weird if they made a shirt with my tattoo, which is the Triforce from Legend of Zelda, mm-hmm. and gave it to me? Sure enough, they did when we got there. Oh, wow. Fucking weird, bro. Yeah. They must it's have been weird. listening through the phone. I mean, everyone listens to the phone. And I said, wouldn't it be weird if we met Christopher Nolan? Well, have they, a blessed day, man. They, hey. they didn't have Christopher Nolan there, but they sure had the next best thing, the guy who worked on Oppenheimer. I got to shake his hand and all, everything, man. It's fucking. I don't know what's going on. I think I do. Okay. It's revolution time, man. Time for a big change in this world. All right, Mark. I appreciate everything, man. Yeah, no problem. You stay the, safe. the water, most of all, actually. <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, Stop the bias, man. Yeah, he does. Amen. I'm in Ra, I'm in Moon, and all the almonds. Thanks, man. Take care. All right. You have a good life now. You friend me on Facebook so we can keep in touch, all right? All right. You got my phone number, too. Mm-hmm. All right, man? Stay safe, man. I'll follow you once you pull out. Oh, you thank you. Thank you, man. That's very kind. Have a blessed day, too. All right. Success.